Okay, hi everyone. Assalamualaikum. Today we're going to show you some tutorial on forecasting. And this time we're going to solve this question. Okay, it gives us information on the marketing manager has to determine appropriate method to minimize the risk and increase the profit. Okay, so the first one is determine forecast for April and May using three month moving average. Okay, that's one method here. The next one, what would be the best forecasting method for, a, for B to determine December? So we have information until April. So since we need to forecast for December, so I guess the best method can be used here. It's linear trend. Exponential, no, we cannot do it because we don't have the alpha value. And then for the weighted moving average also, uh, we don't have enough actual data. So I think the best is the linear trend, okay? Because we, we want the December forecast. Okay, and then the third one is which more accurate, okay? Between these both method using MED. Okay, these are the month we have until May and then these are the demand. Okay, using MED. So for three months moving average is very simple. Okay, so forecast we are using uh, the information for March, February, and January. We divide by three, we get 416.6. So we need to round up to 417. And for the main forecast, we're using the April, March, and February data divide by three. So we get 483.3. So we need to round up to 484. Okay, then we move to the linear trend question. We want the forecast for December. So the first thing, these are the formula for the for the linear trend. We need to find B first, and then we need to find A, and then the main important thing that we need to find this equation so that we can get for the F12. First, we need to have some data here. Okay, these are the month that we convert to the numbers. And these are the Y, okay, the actual. So the information that we need is the T, Y, and then the sum of T, sum of Y, sum of T squared, and then uh, sum of <coughs> T squared sum. So we need to prep all the data here. Okay, so we have sum of T here, sum of Y, okay, sum of T squared, sum of T, Y, and then one more we need the sum of t square. Okay, so when we have all the information here, we start with the b, plug in all the information here, we get 65, and then for a, we plug in all the information here, we got 275. And then we need to come up with the equation. For the equation, we have a is 275 plus b is 65t. So since the question wants us to answer for the December, so F12, and then we plug in 12 here, so we get 1055, okay? So now we need to compare these two methods to, to, to decide which one is more accurate. So we need to prep the data for the three months. Since we don't have uh, information for January, February, March, we only have for April and May, we calculated earlier. And for linear trend, we calculated the F12. But now we need to fill all the information for January, February, March, April, May using this uh, form uh, equation that we uh, found earlier. So we have to change the T into 1, 2, 3, 4, until 5. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we need to do the calculation and this is the answer that we get. And next step is to find the MAD. So the formula of MAD is the absolute deviation, okay, the absolute error, okay. It means that the actual minus the forecast and then plus uh, actual minus forecast in which we need to uh, absolute deviation here. So divide by 2 since it's there's only two error measurement here, so we get 99.5. Okay, for the linear trend, since we have the data since January, so we have like one, two, three, four, five. Five uh, absolute deviation, okay, uh, for the error. So this is the first one, 
actual 300 minus 340 and then we need to absolute division and then we do for the February, March, April and May since they have 5 uh, error data so we need to divide by 5 so we get 30 now for the MAD to consider to be accurate we need to make sure it is the minimum okay so for this case we found out that the most accurate is the linear trend, okay, the P method, in which they have the smallest MAD. So, that's uh, all for today. So, we are comparing uh, two types of forecast method. The first one is the moving average, and the second one is linear trend. Then, we need to, uh, to compare using the MAD to come up with the most accurate method. So, I hope you understand. Okay, thank you. I will see you again.